Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV, where today I'm going to give you my top five hook bait hacks. And what do I mean by a hack? Well, ordinarily I'm probably going to be fishing wafting hook baits, pop-ups, things like that. But then there are times when you're faced with problems, different scenarios that you need to overcome, or you're just looking for a hook bait that's that little bit different. And those are the alternatives that I'm going to show you today. So let's get started. Okay then, hack number one. Now, this little hook bait hack utilizes a bait that's probably vastly underused these days, and that's paste. So I've got a little tub of frozen paste here. These are available to match all the freezer bait range. This one is essential cell. And then what I've done is I've just taken a pinch of that paste, flattened it off in my hand, and then I've taken an essential cell 12 mil balance wafter. I've placed it inside of that little flat piece of paste, just folded it up around the hook bait, rolled it in my hand till I've got a nice round hook bait. Obviously it's a bit bigger now, it's got two to four mil layer of paste around that wafter. And then just to up the attraction a little bit, I've then rolled that in some ground bait just so that there's a little bit of flavor just to fizz off of that as it drops down through the water column. The ground bait, you could leave them dry and it probably would get to the lake bed and give you a bit of attraction around your hook bait as it sits there. But most probably it's gonna wash off as it goes down through the water column. But that's not a bad thing. That's putting some flavor, some attraction up high in the water column. Hopefully pull those fish down to where your hook bait is. Now, here's the finished hook bait attached to the rig. This is the simple wafter rig. We've been using this for all these series of tip videos, but if you haven't seen how I tie this rig together, I'll leave a link to this video in the description. And as you can see now, we've got a hook bait there, around about 16 mil in size. We can cast that out, and once on the lake bed, that piece of paste is just gonna break down slowly over time, give us lots and lots of attraction, around the hook bait, so it's perfect for single hook bait fishing. It's also perfect for fishing over your boilies. Like I said, I've used essential cell. This will fish over them really, really well. So a nice little hook bait hack, just to give you that little bit more attraction. Okay, hack number two is giving yourself a tub of hardened 10 mil hook baits from your feed boilies out of the bag when 10 mil boilies, they're just that little bit too soft in that size to use on the hair. And it's a really simple process. So I've started off, I've got some 10 mil cell boilies here. And like I say, I take one straight out of the bag. They're quite soft and crumbly. When you go up to the 15 mil size, yep, you can put them on the hair, but the 10 mils are just a little bit too soft. So I've added plenty of those 10 mil boilies out of the bag into a hook bait tub like this. And as you can see, there's a liquid in there. And that liquid is what's doing all the work for me. That's what's hardening up these hook baits. It's a liquid called the Hook Bait Enhancement System. And they're available in our range to match all our freezer baits and our high impact boilies as well. And that's where I've added another little edge. So rather than adding the cell dip to the cell boilies, I've took the opportunity to introduce another attractor that will go well with the cell, and that's the Bonoffi. So I've tipped some of the Bonoffi hook bait enhancement system in with those 10 mil cell in the tub, just enough to give them all really good coating, and then just put the lid on, give them all a good shake, and then that's it, I can just leave them. That liquid, not only is it gonna be super boosting the attraction of those 10 mil boilies, it's also gonna be preserving them so that we can leave this tub in the tackle bag indefinitely, could leave it in the car, anywhere you like, as long as it's out of direct sunlight. And what you'll notice is after about a two week period that these boilies will have hardened right up and they'll be suitable for mounting on the hair with confidence. And that's what I've done here. I've made a little snowman arrangement with one of those 10 mil cell. I've got a little fluoro pink and white mini micro on the top. 
and I've mounted this on a number of familiar rig to the channel and that's the Longshank Snowman rig. So again, if you'd like to know how to tie this rig, I'll leave a link in the description below. And there you go, it's the perfect presentation for any time you're scaling down your hook bait, say you're fishing over a spod mix and perhaps the biggest item in there is a 10 mil boilie, or if you're going into winter and you're looking to just scale that presentation down and get them extra winter bites. Okay, here's hack number three. We're using the same Longshank Snowman rig as what we used in hack number two, but this time I've got two grains of maize on the hair with a topper sitting above them just to balance them out and give us a nice slow sinking hook bait. I've taken this maize from our ready prepared Hemper Maze Power Plus Particle Mix and that's hack number three, is looking within your spod mix and seeing if there's anything in there that you can use for your hook bait. So like I say, I've got the Hemper Maze mix, I could be spodding this out, what better hook bait to use than something from within that mix that the fish are already feeding on and confident on. So I've taken two of the grains of maize, it's a nice hard, durable hook bait, it's not going to come off the hair or anything. And like I say, I've combined this with one of our toppers, which are corn-like in their shape and size, so they match up with that maize perfectly. Now talking of the toppers, they play a massive part in our next couple of hacks, which are rig-based, so let's go back to the studio and the overhead cam. Hack number four is how to beat a fishery ban on plastic hook baits with the super versatile toppers. Made from standard pop-up mix, they come in three different colours, white, pink and yellow, and resemble a piece of corn in size and shape. To present the toppers, we're going to tie a simple pop-up rig. So you're going to need some coated braid, a size 8 wide gape hook, a couple of the toppers, I've then got a micro ring to go on the shank of the hook for the hair exit, a little piece of shrink tubing for a little kicker, an anti-tangle sleeve, we then got a hair stop and a standard boily baiting needle and of course a sharp pair of scissors. The first thing I've done is taken the coated braid and just removed some of the outer coating to reveal the soft central braid around about 5 inches, about 12 centimetres and then just going to take that exposed section and just make a simple overhand knot to create a hair loop. And of course, if you've been watching these videos, you'll know already I like to use a baiting needle for these types of little, sometimes fiddly loop knots. So there we go. Just trim off that tag end that we don't need. And that's the hair loop formed, so we can go on to the next step. Which is, of course, attaching our hook baits. We're going to use two toppers. I'm using two of the same colour and a mini stack here, the pink. You could alternate your colours if you wanted to, say a yellow and a white, yellow and a pink, something like that. We're now going to thread those onto the hair. I always like to attach my hook bait at the very beginning of tying any rig and it just ensures that the hair is of the right length we just put a hair stop in there just to secure the two toppers in place and there we go we're ready to move on with the hair tied and the hook bait attached we can now establish the length of the rig so i've just pulled off nine ten inches of hook link there just cut that away we can now take our micro ring and just thread that onto the hook link little tip if you just lick your finger push it onto the micro ring get a nice grip on it then and I'm just gonna then make an overhand loop knot so half a granny knot just to hold that micro ring in place and we want it nice and tight close to the base of that bottom topper I'm just gonna get just pull it down nice and tight that's it, just a little tweak, just to slide it a little bit closer to the hook bait. We don't need a lot of movement, and there we go, that's the ring secured into position. We can now take our hook, thread that through the ring, and we're going to position the exit point of the hair there, just on the bend of the hook, just as it goes around. And with that done, 
we can now tie a simple knotless knot so take your hook link through the back of the hook and then we wind down one two three four five six times like so and then take that tag end back through the back of the eye again nip it down nice and tight and there you go that's the knotless knot complete and the hook secured into position we can now take the shrink tube in just cut off a very short section of that shrink tube in only five maybe six mil we're just using it just to help the hook turn a little bit and help tidy up protect that knot over the eye so we'll just thread that onto the hook link like so there we go just take that down and then just get a nice grip of the hook link and then push that over the eye of the hook make sure it's nicely in position there we go and now we're ready to move on to the next step which is adding our anti-tangle sleeve and just thread that through I'm really a massive fan of anti-tangle sleeves such a small humble component of tying rigs but does such a great job at preventing tangles which is obviously vitally important I'm now going to toy a figure of eight loop knot so I'm going to make one big loop take that loop back upon itself and then take that first loop behind the second loop grab my baiting needle just makes this loads easier and pull that first loop through the second and there we go we've got a nice neat figure of eight loop knot just wet it down with a little saliva and then we can just grab a pulley tool and just pull that down it's a really nice knot this one it's super strong and that loop means that we can attach the rig to a quick change swivel and it also makes it easy to store the rig in a rig box or a rig board there we go we just slide that sleeve back up over the knot and there we go that's this end of the rig complete now being careful not to burn yourself or damage the rig we can shrink down the tubing over some steam and just where the coated and uncoated section of the hook link meet I've added a little number four split shot just to counterbalance the buoyancy of those two toppers up on the hair and there you go that's the rig complete and ready to go as you can see our mini stack of toppers is holding up our hook in an aggressive claw like position perfectly creating the ideal presentation for fishing over corn or beds of small particles but let's say you're fishing solid PVA bags another presentation where plastic corn is commonly used and here we have our presentation from our smart liquid solid PVA bag video I'll leave a link to that down in the description and what I've done here is I've threaded a single topper lengthways onto the hair like so and as you can see that soy six curve shank hook is just holding that in a nice wafting position perfectly hack number five and our final tip is for any time you're fishing a soft bait such as luncheon meat pepperami would be another one but any soft bait where there's a slight concern that small fish may whittle down the soft bait really quickly and you never quite know if you've still got bait out on your hair or on your rig so I've cut this luncheon meat into quite big cubes that means that we could make them a bit smaller if we want to and as you can see they're quite soft in texture and small silverfish nuisance fish may have a bit of a field day on these types of hook baits so what we're going to do is utilize the toppers again so I've taken a single white topper and I've just positioned this above a cube of luncheon meat on the hair to make a sort of a snowman presentation there and what this achieves is should a, any soft bait such as this luncheon meat come away from the hair for any reason we know and we're confident that we still have a hook bait that can be taken by the carp on the hair because we've already seen a size 6 hook will still fish a single topper effectively 
Initially cutting the luncheon meat a little bit oversized means that you can just trim it just that little bit should you need to until it's only just got enough weight to counterbalance the buoyancy of that topper and as you can see we've created the perfect wafting hook bait packed with attraction as well as fishing confidence. So there you go five hook bait hacks that you'll hopefully find helpful next time you need to think outside the box and of course if you've got any hacks or hook bait tips yourself that you'd like to share with us please leave them in the comments box below thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hit that notification button so you know when our next video is coming out if you don't yet subscribe to the channel please hit that subscription button below it's really important and if you'd like to watch more top tip and rig videos i'll leave links to those here Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.